I just realized 2016 has been one hell of a ride for me and this channel. <laughs> I'll explain. Just, just enjoy the video, guys. But what up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm gonna be talking about 2016, how it affected me, some friends of mine, the, this channel, and just 2016 in general. The stupid trends and everything with freaking glowing knives and shit. Just let's just get into the video. So freaking pretty much. What I was talking about is, um, pretty much how someone connected up, but pretty much what I'm talking about is, um, how it affected me. So pretty much, um, I moved to Frederick in uh, January, um, uh, moved into a new neighborhood, and 2016 has been a stressful year for me, my parents and everything, my family and everything. If you guys are wondering, because, I don't know, just... It's just been one hell of a ride, man. That's why I said that in the intro thing. Uh, but pretty much, I moved. I will admit, I looked like a fucking hipster hobo back then. Not even kidding. <clears throat> now I look cleaned up and such, but back then I just looked terrible. So pretty much, um, I moved into Frederick, moved into a new neighborhood. I moved into a new neighborhood, so that means I had to go to a different school. And at first it was kind of bad, kind of bad for me because, you know, with all kids and stuff, because, you know, kids are in middle school. And, yeah, and, yeah, I only, I only had, like, one friend, his name was Steven, and that was the, pretty much the only person I talked to, and we only talked on the bus, pretty much, and that was the bus I rode. And the reason why I said it was stressful for me and my family and stuff is because um, where I lived in that old neighborhood, I moved into a new place now, but whenever I moved into that neighborhood, pretty much what happened was my family struggled with money. We still do today, kind of, but we struggle with money. And what that means is, that means if you guys don't know the definition or anything, pretty much it means that you don't have that much money, um, you can't buy all the nice things that you want to and such, so. Yeah, pretty much that was how our family was like. Um, I was even lucky to get a fucking phone. Like, I'm not even kidding, I was even lucky to get a phone. Or a tablet, I don't even know how they got the money. But they just did, I don't know how though. And pretty much what happened was... We... Um, the only thing that... What I did was just sit in the house all day and do nothing but play video games and yeah and I could I could have done something with that time but you know, I didn't have anything better to do and plus I really enjoy gaming and such and that's another reason why I started YouTube because I enjoy gaming and such um, and pretty much yeah um, I met Bernard on the bus and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for a different video but me and him met. Uh, we were hanging out at his house, um, keep in mind this is when I was in 6th grade, um, as, as well, and Bernard, I mean, he was pretty cool, everyone felt bad for him because he had one arm and such, and I'm like, dude, just get to know him, he's, he's he looks pretty cool, um, I remember exactly what Bernard would do on the bus and shit, um, I think, <laughs> it, it was funny, but, um, he would always play Minecraft on the bus. I'm not even kidding. He would always play Minecraft. I'm not sure about now, but I remember he used to play Minecraft like fuck all the time. I, I'm not even kidding. We used to play Minecraft. Well, he used to play Minecraft all the time on the bus. And meanwhile, me, I used to listen to music. And sometimes I prank called some numbers on the bus with Steven. Pretty much what happened was um, I was at Bernard's house. He was like, dude. Oh, dude, how do I create a YouTube channel? I really want to start one because you're a YouTuber and I really want to hang out with you and such. And I was like, and I'm like okay, let me show you how to create one. And I, I, I fucking took him through a tutorial. Yeah, I took him through a tutorial, pretty much, on how to <laughs> create a YouTube channel. I'm like, dude, it's really simple. And he created his YouTube channel, Dancing Gamer, Dancing Gamer 7, I think it was called. 
That's what I called it in my older videos, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I just did. And yeah, pretty much. Pretty much what happened was... Yeah, but um, I already knew what my profile picture was going to be from the start, uh, which was going to be an Xbox controller. That's what it was going to be at first, but then now it's a different picture. Um, but, yeah, um, and pretty much, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. And it took Bernard forever to find his profile picture. Like, he had to, it was funny just watching him search and react to all the pictures. He's like, no, I don't want that. No, no, no. <laughs> And then that's when I made the first introductory video. Was I think it's called like Introduction to the Channel or something. My voice was light as a motherfucker, dude. I'm not even kidding. It sounded like a girl's voice. Well, it didn't sound like a girl's voice. You can tell it was a guy's voice, but it almost sounded like a girl's voice. Not nearly. It sounded like a girl's voice. Not even kidding. It was, it was pretty funny just listening to my voice back then. It was it got annoying fast, so that's why I know my, my parents were annoyed by my voice. They told me my voice was really annoying. But I think everyone's was whenever it was high pitched. But then over months, starting in about eh, let's say near summertime. That's when my voice got deeper, started getting deeper, and yeah, if you watch some of my past videos, you would, I think you guys would notice the change, I think, yeah, I think, I think you guys would notice the change in my voice, hopefully, but so when people look at my channel and stuff, and look at my past videos, they're like, dude, are you, are you actually Brian from Brian King? Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, and he's like, oh, you don't sound like that. I'm like, I know, don't. My voice was cringy back then. It was. Even I would get annoyed myself listening to it now. Actually, thinking about it just gives me a headache now. Nah. But now I'm going to talk about how it affected my friends. Okay, so you know Bernard, right? Yeah, Bernard. Oh, whoa, whoa. What even happened there? Pretty much Bernard, well, he wasn't, he wasn't, the. Uh, uh, let me think, he wasn't, he wasn't one of the best kids, well, he, yeah, he was one of the best kids, he, he, he was a kid who didn't have many friends back then, well, he, he has some now, but, I mean, no one would talk to him or hang out with him, I felt honestly bad for him, but, Actually, how we met was over a prank call, actually, because um, I found this number. Because I, me and a couple of friends were addicted to FNAF back then. I don't know why, but we, I was just addicted to FNAF. <laughs> and pretty much, I found this number for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and I called it. And then I told, and then um, Steven called it, and then Bernard called it, called it. And then I was like, dude, you seem pretty cool. What's your name, Bernard? And he said Bernard. And yeah, we pretty much met from there. And then we would talk on the bus every day. And it was, it was cool. Um, and to this day, we still hang out. And yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool how one person could change the life of others. It's really cool. Sorry about that. My recorder just shut off. I don't really know why. It, the, the weirdest thing this the recorder does. Uh, so pretty much what happened was, um, pretty much, uh, I don't know what I was talking, yeah, um, I was talking about how, yeah, um, so pretty much, um, yeah, I made this channel, um, started at zero subscribers, now we have only over 200 members strong, which is amazing because I really didn't expect much, much from this channel, thank you guys for for supporting me and stuff through all this hell of this year. Like, we got freaking crazy ex-girlfriends. We got, well, not crazy ex-girl, a crazy ex-girlfriend. Um, we have um, a school trying to take down my video videos. Um, yeah, if you were an o original viewer, OG viewer, whatever you want to call it, then you should know what I'm talking about. Um, about the whole school taking down my videos thing. And also, um, you guys supported me through all kinds of other stuff. Like, 
I don't know. It's like, you guys, I don't know, you guys just blow my mind, but 2016 has been a good year, and I hope you guys have a happy new year. If you guys are, like, going to parties and stuff, stay safe out there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, also, goodbye 2016. We will probably not miss you, but, yeah, but uh, now back talking about the stupid-ass trends of this year. Friggin', um, dab, dabs are dumb. Dabs are cringe. Like, it's so retarded. Dabs are retarded. <laughs> they're not retarded, they're just, they're just kind of dumb. I, I dislike them, they're cringy. Um, and plus, like, even whenever people do them a certain way, like, how, you, how you're supposed to do it, everyone just, like, makes fun of the person doing it. Like, what the heck? But pretty much another trend, um, well, actually, something that everyone hated this year. Two things. YouTube Rewind 2016 and, um, the presidential election. I think everyone hated the presidential election more than YouTube Rewind, honestly, but still. And now let's talk about the memes of this year. The memes that I thought were the best were We Are Number One. Uh. Every time I think I gotta go. Uh. Cause if you see, then you gotta know. Uh. Bitches, they only care about the flow. Uh. Come on, you know. I